Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Minecraft. It's your boy, Weasel. We're at home base where, well, we arrived here safely. Oops, safe here uh, last time after our nether adventure. And I haven't been doing too much crazy stuff, but I'm just collecting some things that I would like to bring over to our new town, to Frontiers, Fletcher's Frontier. That, that was the name. I, I remember names. Where did I put all the torches, by the way? I had a bunch of torches. Are they all in my back? No, they're not. Oh, they are. Never mind. <sighs> all right. So we're going to be heading to Fletcher's Frontier. And I wanted to give you... Um, oh, yeah. I put all the cocoa beans on this tree. And it, they just seem to grow when you put them back on a tree, interestingly enough. Not going to harvest them yet. But eventually I will when I have the nerves. Let's head down our farm plateaus. And I'm going to show you real quick... Um, our, what's its face, uh, farm? I guess, I guess it's not a farm, it's just, just the fence for the cows. I, I finally moved that, spent uh, a few minutes just flattening this area and expanding this. And on that note, did I have any, uh, wheat in my inventory? Right now I don't, I just have like six wheat in my inventory. I should have more, I feel. Especially, um, yeah since we want to keep them growing. Couldn't you eat like the flowers and whatnot as well? I feel like that would be really neat if they would eat um, stuff that's been planted on the ground. As you can see, ooh, we're gonna need to put some torches down because I don't want necessarily mobs to spawn in here. Not that I think that they go after the, excuse me, uh, go after the cows, but also I kind of feel it's just right. I will also have to deal with our sheep <laughs> There's just one sheep in there. It's been there forever, and I feel kind of bad. So, yeah, that that would be... Yeah, that would be me. Ooh, hello, little cow. Yes, you yeah, will turn you probably into leather. Maybe. I don't know yet. Maybe you will uh, live forever because uh, I find other way to get leather. Thanks to mod. So, yeah, minimap. I was saying, I was thinking about getting something like that. Um, for my uh, needs, and guess what? <gasps> it's a mini map. I got a mini map. Um, there are some really cool mods that will ma uh, uh, map your whole Minecraft world, and you can explore it like in the browser or in game. And it's not available for 116, which is the reason why I haven't uh, used that one. Also, this here. I mean, sure, it's nice to have a mini-map. Just, like, it's kind of neat. You can zoom in and out and you can get a little closer if you need to, like, know what the frig's going on. But ultimately, um, it doesn't show me far enough to, like, use it as a big old um, map. It's just really practical because it has a little thing for bookmarks. And then you can you can find your coordinates with that. And also it shows the coordinates up in the corner. So I like that a lot. But I won't need it all the time, so you're most likely not gonna see it. And I'm already talking way too much about this little mini-map. I just figured, hey, that's actually way more practical than me writing down coordinates in a little uh, thingamajig and then also always looking at these overlays that are kind of jarring. Oh, and yeah, I saw the comment. I've just gotta pay attention. Um, I don't need to hold my shield in the offhand. Wait, somebody said I don't need to hold my shield in the offhand. But, how do I, hmm, do I just, like, do that and then I have it? Yeah, that's kind of a problem, though. Like, in here, sure, I have it in my main hand, but if I have it in my offhand, it's always out of the way. So that's kind of handy. Anyway, I'll figure out something. It would be nice if I could just, like, put it away, but still use it with right-click and, and bring it up, and it disappears after a few seconds. I think that would be neat. Anyways... Fletcher's Frontier, but before we do that, I'm gonna need some wheat and some bread, because I don't think I have... How much bread do I have with me? Look at that! I have zero bread with me, and bread is like one of those things I should bring if I go into this village. I mean, we're gonna bring wheat seed, because I'd like to build a little farm plot as well. But yeah, you know you know how it is. Um, How is it, Weasel? How is it? Not sure. Yesterday I looked into mob farms a little bit to understand how they work and what are some good canal systems. And I'm really looking forward to goofing around with those. Why did I put all of my weed? Because I'm pretty sure... Uh, probably in the fridge. Look at that. That's where, that's where I put it. That's where it makes the most sense. And that's where I put it. Um, 
Why do I have all of these poppies with me? Should we make some bread? Yeah, we should. We should absolutely make some bread before we head out. That's kind of... Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to also feed the cows. I actually need more wheat. Oh, well. All right, so bread. Um, let's just uh, bread. Make some real quick. Oh, I have no room in the inventory. That's unfortunate. That's better. I'm going to bring that. Just have a whole stack with me. Why not? Uh, let's put some stuff in the inventory that I don't need to carry around, like all of those planks. I'm going to need those to build houses later on when we're in... Uh, wow, look at all of this stuff I have in here. It's already almost overflowing. It's like shelves in real life. I don't know if you noticed, but if you have a shelf in real life, you're going to put stuff on it, and it's eventually going to fill up. Same goes with any kind of storage. If you put a storage thing into your room, it will fill up. It's just a matter of time. It's not that you're going to put a shelf in and it's like, oh yeah, okay, it's it's going to stay empty and neat like that. No, 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 no. You're going to keep putting stuff in and it's going to be, it's going to be a bad time. So if you just have shelves everywhere, like I had in my room at one point, everything was full. All the, all the shelves were completely filled to the brim with stuff because like, oh yeah, I have a shelf. I can sort that away under the false guise of, like, being organized, which I guess I wasn't really because it was just on shelves and then uh, cleaning up and everything got dusty. It, yeah. Long story short, I got rid of a few shelves and put some stuff in boxes, and it's way nicer now in here. I don't know why that came up, but it just it just did. Uh, this was in the morning, this one, this episode, for once. Not in the late evening. I'm trying to record earlier, but there's always stuff that comes up. <gasps> Beehive, I forgot. Good, we're gonna need that in the future. Okay, you guys got food, you procreated, you did your thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the stuff in the uh, chest over here. I should put the chest inside this place, I feel. Seems more reasonable. Also, look at all these oak logs. Look at them. Okay, you looked at them, what now? Yeah, I didn't think this through. All right, so. Time to head over to... Wait, why is there a block? Did I not... Did I do that? I probably did that. Um, uh, you know what? That's fine. It's a window. Don't worry about it. So we can see outside. Do I have a minecart on me? Yes, I do. Very good. Place minecart on tracks. And, and off we go. I'll see you in a moment. Man, that ride took a while. It's already nighttime, but that's okay. Uh, I brought an iron door because somebody told me, hey, if you want to keep your villagers out, you're just going to put down an iron door and then... Wait, oh, then I need a switch to open and close it. Isn't that, isn't that the truth? And I don't really have... I need a button or something. Don't I? <sighs> okay, another time. Another time. Just regular door and right now just to make me feel better. Another thing I will have to learn is to uh, use doors properly. Okay. Let's get some sleep, and then we're going to be doing some work on our little village and turn it into a... Oh, no, I forgot all of the stuff for the iron golem. Oh, no. Oh, well, next time. Next time. We'll, we'll build an iron golem. That'll happen. Hi. Yeah, of course, you're not going to go and become a librarian because you already have a job. That's okay. That's okay, boys. So I'm going to get some bre bread. Yes, please. So beds have been a big issue in that, yeah, villagers are not really breeding as much. Or even if they're breeding, I guess, um, they don't turn into new villagers. Probably because the bed is missing. So I could just, <clears throat> excuse me, fill those, hi, uh, fill those rooms with beds. Like, he has a bed, he has a house and whatnot. By the way, anything new and cool in here? Nope, okay, fine. Wait, oh. How did you get in? Did you just teleport in here? I guess, I guess he must have. I guess he must have. So what I can do is I can... Yeah, somebody could sleep in the butcher's house, I guess. Or we could build our own little... Hey, Foxy. Uh, we could build our own little house. Um, just so the villagers have a place. This seems to be like a... um, What's its face? This seems to be like a common room of sorts. The requirements to build a house are pretty straightforward from what I understand. 
But we have so many houses that it would just make sense to put some beds in the ones that I guess don't have. Wait, there is another bed. Okay, so those are the two beds I think we have. Nope, three beds. There are plenty of beds. Guys, why are you not breeding more? <sighs> I mean, I'll, I will give you more bread and I will put more beds down. Obviously, we don't want to put the bed outside. That would be insane. Um, So... I think we could have two beds in one house. I see. <clears throat> I have no reason to believe we can't have that. Um, it just needs to be connected to a door. Needs to have a few spaces above it. And that's all you need. So we're just going to increase the amount of bed space. I mean, as nice as this is, I kind of feel this is a waste of space. So no, your furniture needs to go. Your furniture needs to become a bed. Everyone buckle up a little bit, I think. Uh, on that note, let's put some lights in here. That's better. Don't want these poor folks living in the darkness. Okay, who wants who wants some bread? Oh, oh, hi. Hi, I'm sure you want some bread. No? Here, bread. Take bread, please. Bread? Please take bread? Okay, he takes bread. So eventually there's going to be a heart symbol when he's, like, filled up. You know, like... Just being, here, have all the bread. I don't even. That's a lot of bread, dude. You should be, you should be breeding like crazy now. Okay, that was half my bread. That was way too much. Okay, let's go to the butcher and give him something. I saw them, I saw them having like romantic relations. So I don't know what that was about. Why nothing happened. Hey, buddy, here. Have all this bread. You, you can have it all. You can you can have it. You can have it all. Here. Take it all. All right. Obviously, I would like a farmer. So, my hope is that they will eventually breed. I thought you'd like bread. Oh, well. All right. So, one thing I want to do is build a little farm plot. Not just um, for the farmers, but when I come back or when I hang out here, I will generate wheat so I can turn that into bread and I guess over here is a good spot but before we get started on this let's put some torches down because if I hang around here and in the middle of the night we're gonna have some zombies spawn and that would be unpleasant to say the least I don't know what a good spacing is for torches um, for the most part I just want to put them inside so uh, I'm just gonna space them out a little bit and hope that that's enough to keep anything out. Man, we're going to need a lot of those if I'm just going to keep doing that. Oh well. We're going to need an iron golem. There's no way I'll be able to really cover all the grounds because this is a fairly huge uh, village, I would say. Here, uh, we're going to put some in the en on the entrance. Yes, weird fox makes weird noises. Yeah, I know, you can spawn all over here where the trees are. I should get rid of all of those trees to be safe. That's what I get for not bringing the iron golem stuff. I might just head back and grab some. But yeah, anything that can help. Keep the spawn rate down at least. Now, I like how they put it on little... Um, uh, not fences, on wall pieces. That's kind of neat, actually. But for now, I'm just spreading some stuff out. Yeah, why do we not have any beds over here? Um, I see chests with stuff in it, but yeah, no. Oh, there's torches that they placed, which is neat. Alright, there you go. Just putting some on the wall. I guess nighttime is going to be the ideal time to look around for potential mobs. That, that would make sense, wouldn't it? To look around <laughs> where it's the darkest. The dankest of places. All right, then. Um, I need some food myself. I'm like a little peckish, aren't I? Why won't you breed? I gave you beds. I gave you everything. Oh, well. I also don't bring... <laughs> I also didn't bring any water buckets. Um, and water. If I have four water buckets, I can just create myself a little pool. I mean, we have the sea over there, but yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm heading back. I'm heading back home. So be it. Can I leave some stuff in here just to 
Um, we have plenty of stairs and whatnot. Oh well. All right, let's head back. Wee. Perfect. Here we are. Let me close this up. Okay, I wanted some buckets to bring some water. I do have one bucket in my inventory. I could have done that. But I also wanted to get my iron blocks and my pumpkin, my carved, my, my jack-o'-lantern thingamajig. Because we're going to need that. Finally, I learned a thing. Ja jack-o'-lantern. Okay, now I'm going to need a bunch of iron blocks, which is... I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough. Block of iron. I think I need one, two, three, four... Four blocks of iron, so I can make seven. That's nice. Um, I just wanted one though. Uh, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this should be enough to make an iron golem. You put like one, two, and then one to the left, and then top of the you put that thing. Hopefully, otherwise, uh, I'll feel very silly. Um, should I bring the iron along? Yeah, I tell you what, I'll, I'll bring it along just in case. Um, it might be a dangerous proposition, but so be it. Also, on that note, my diamond shovel is gonna give in very soon, but that's all right. Okay, keep the golden helmet in here for now. So, what else? Ah, yes, buckets. Talking about buckets. I think I have, like, two more buckets upstairs, and that means I want to make one more bucket. Good that I have the iron with me. One more bucket. Cool. Throw that in here with the other ones. And then... Yes, it's nighttime. Then I have two more buckets. Man, if I say that word bucket one more time, I will lose my mind. I have one of those vessels with me. And, wow, it's been a while since I, like, slept in my own... I mean, you know, my home bed... Hi, pups. I still will have to get you name tags. I still will have to do that. All right, then. I think that's all I wanted. I'm going to fill these with water now. We can just do that over here real quick. I mean, that's what I have it for. Uh, the other ones are in the backpack. Not a big problem. Wow, I do this in a very roundabout way. Cool. And with that being said and done... Oops, that was not planned. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. How do I put a block inside a... Minecraft, you're weird. You're very weird. Oh, well. All right, so now with all of this stuff, we can head back. Look at all the cows, and now they have some room. We're still gonna need to build a barn, won't we? I hear you grumping somewhere in this hill. I know you're so. There you are. I knew you were here. Should I take... Oh, never mind. You're gonna take care of yourself. That's cool. Just give me some points while I'm at it. Might as, might as well. Are you hitting me with a bone? 31 levels. I gotta be careful not to lose all of these. They just drop something. They just throw something away. Wait. I put my diamond sword in the offhand. How did I do that? Absolute mad lad. All right. Time to head back to Fletcher's village. And back we are. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to take this before a villager runs in uh, here again. Maybe the villagers can't breed because they're, like, both dudes or both girls. I don't know. I don't think that's a thing with villagers, though. Like, I think villagers are genderless, from what I understand. Or at least, it you know, they, it doesn't affect if they can't breed or not. That's such a weird concept, kind of. All right, so now that we're here, we have our buckets. Let's make a little water, uh, like a spot for our water. And since we have our farm here, it might as well be close. Here, like right next to the house. This seems like a decent spot to do that. Fill it in. I actually would have needed only three buckets, not four. That's the whole idea. So that if you have three and then all of a sudden, oh, you have four. Look at, look at that. Looky, looky. All right. So we do the same thing that we did um, 
in our other uh, at a home base. And that would be one, two, three, four. And then this one would be dug out with some water in it. And that will pretty much uh, water all the adjacent fields um, in a four by four grid. Um, like that. Very good. I think, yeah, that seems to be about right. And we'll know, obviously, because they will turn darker, and that will kind of give it away. Mm, eventually, I'd like to have villagers tend to it. But, yeah, I mean, I'd like a lot of things if I can ever pull these off. It's a different question. I think two fields would fit very nicely in here. Might be a bit much, maybe? But I also feel would be prudent. So in this case, I'm just gonna count four, and then four, that should do the trick, right? One, two, three, four, and then in the middle. No, not, not, the, not the path, but that's how you make paths, good to know. Water bucket, boop, thank you. And then use the hoe. I think one of my favorite comments was, uh, one person really, really, really making sure that I never use a diamond hoe. And ever since I read that comment, and I know how weird it is, and it's kind of <clears throat> an odd thing to remember, I guess. I kind of, I, I that I kind of want to like make a diamond hoe now, just, just for that reason. I don't know if it's petty or if it's just. You know what? I'm going to play it just how I want to play it. If I want to make an iron hoe, I will make an iron hoe. <clears throat> so, yeah. This is great. Now, let me just finish this up real quick. Now, oh, there goes my iron hoe. I didn't bring any diamonds. But I brought some iron. I should probably put a crafting table down. I always carry one around. But I might as well put one here. Just... You know, next, uh, re really close. Where is my iron? My iron? Didn't I bring it? Where? There it is. Okay. I thought for a second I was going crazy, which can't happen because I already am. So how did Iron Hole go again? Oh, this, this is how you do that. Okay, good, good. What was I? Yes. I mean, I could probably. The person might also be like, why are you even using iron as a waste? You should be using stone. Just make it with stone. It's like, it's just convenience, I guess, my dude. Just convenience. Alright then. Alright then. Okay. Will this do the trick or... I think so. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Where are my wheat seeds? We're gonna plant all of those wheat seeds. Oh, you're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna sit here. And you're gonna watch me do the weed. Oh no! I watched a YouTuber today, and he was doing weed, weed on on his on his videos. And I'm gonna have like an angry mother, and she's like, "I can't believe you were you were you were doing weed on on your videos. You're supposed to be a shining example of our community. How dare you indoctrinate my children with your?" satanic agenda of smoking the reefer. I will have you know, I used to smoke the reefer and uh, escaped its its evil clutches in college. So I'm educated. I don't know where I'm going with this and I also don't know who I'm uh, satirizing. I'm just saying words that come to my mouth and apparently reefer was the word of choice here. Cool! We got ourselves a farm. Nobody will ever tend to it. Excellent. This is my favorite when that happens. Now we're gonna have... Obviously we could probably... Hmm. Would it make sense to put like a wall around these? Like raised garden beds are kind of a need. I will, I will give it that. But honestly, I don't think we need to. Alright, Iron Golem time, boys. It's Iron Golem time. Boys, girls, and ghouls, and everyone else. I always keep saying, like, alright. You might have noticed that I've been trying to switch up how I talk to people because... Oh wait! Aren't you? You're just... Hey, look at you! You're just like a regular villager boy! Villager boy! Hey! You're not... You're not... You don't have a job right now. Would you... Would you be willing to take up a job? Here, okay, let's see where he goes. I think he went into that house. Here. 
Would you like to become a librarian, please? Please be a librarian. Or maybe he's like just like a dingus. I forgot. There is like a villager that's like just like dingus McCon. Dingus McDoofus. Uh No no no, what are you doing there? How do you always end up there, people? Whoops. I didn't realize you could just it would it would be full screen when you don't have a shield in your hand. Son of a gun! This is a practical, I guess. Do we still need the map though? Since we have now the mini map? We kinda do because it's very has a very far range. Wouldn't you like wanna go to like you know what? Go go to bed. Go home. You goober. What are you You're incapable. That's what you are. Here. I'll just close it off like that. <clears throat> Give me that wall back. These villagers are driving me crazy. Um, yep, same here. I think I'm just gonna make sure nobody gets through this way. And same here. And yeah, okay, nobody can get in and out right now except me when I mine it. Okay, that'll do the trick. All right, it's getting late. Sue, so, iron blocks. We're gonna we're gonna make a golem boy. Boop boop. Boop. Please tell me that that is enough and that I don't need like a fifth block of iron. Otherwise I'll be a very sad camper. <gasps> Ooh, look at him. Is 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 Iron Golem Boy. Hello, Iron Golem Boy. How do you do? Please murder all who will oppose. Who will who will hurt my poor poor villagers. Please do. Thank you. Okay. So you want us to run. That's very good. Um, now that it's darker, though, I just want to spend another moment just putting some torches down so, like, stuff doesn't spawn everywhere. Just, you know, keep things safe. This, it helps. Let's try not to burn down the trees. That, that, that'd be a good idea, I think. Generally speaking, not burning down the village you care for. Ow, friggin' bushes. There you, I'm gonna get rid of you. You hear me? Yeah, 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 I hear you. Okay, this is looking good. I can hear some wandering outside. How did you get in? Was it was it too dark? It might have been too dark in places, and then you could spawn. <sighs> okay. Maybe they're imaginations from the villagers. Been watching too much uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, I also have to circle back to the thing I was saying about how to introduce the video. Um... <clears throat> Some people might be like, why is he not saying welcome, ladies and gentlemen? And I've been thinking about it, and I've been, you know, like, kind of trying to educate myself more on the whole thing. And it's just, uh, I guess it's not very inclusive. And I think it's important to be inclusive. So I figured something along the lines of just welcome everybody will do the trick. Um... Uh, walls. How do I make walls? Now, I don't... I forgot. Walls. 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 Can I just make... You know what? I'm just gonna make, uh, fence gates. Like, I have fence gates. Why would I make more? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, so I figured I would do that. I've been, like, playing around with various, um, options. Well, that's weird looking. Um, how about we remove this, and I'm just gonna put two of them... Just... Boop, boop. That's not how you do that, Weasel. You you put it on top, like that. See? Yeah. How about you stay outside? You're you're not you're not welcome here. You're you're not welcome. On that note, you know what? Here, go away. I need So yeah, I hope that's cool with everyone. I mean if not, that would be a weird thing to be upset about, but people get upset about those kinds of things, and I don't understand why. I mean I understand why. I'm just, uh, I have very strong opinions about people that get upset about being inclusive. Um, I mean, that, that you know, let's, let's not go that deep down the rabbit hole. We can have those discussions, I guess, if we wanted to. But I think uh, I'll leave those for another day. I'm not going to just jump into those right now. Silly creeper just blowing up my stuff. Don't like that at all. Uh, here. This is a thing that I wanted to do. I wanted to finish this off by putting a sign here. Welcome to Fletcher's 
Frontier. Aw, nice. We could, like, have another sign over here. I don't know if there's a good spot over here where we update, like, how many people, like, what the population is. Ow, ow, ow. Bad spider. Okay, I'm going back inside. Screw that noise. It is way too dangerous outside. I will also have to clean this up. Look at, look at this mess. Anyway, I feel like we did, we did a good, good amount of uh, work here in our village. That makes me very happy. Um, let's get rid of this thing and replace it with little spruce. Spruce gates. Sometimes I just can't play stuff. That's just... It's just your boy Weasel who can't place stuff. That, that's just what I do. Not being able to place things. Alright then. I think we're gonna continue in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out. I'm gonna go have therapy now. And that's not even a joke. And that's totally fine. I, I wish everyone could get therapy. Therapy is great. Anyways... Look at all these assholes. <clears throat> these people on the other wall that try to blow me up. I don't know. Okay, for a second I was worried he would blow up next to the wall because I wasn't careful. Cool, we have spiders coming in. Hey, golem. Hey, you want to earn your keep and do something useful? How about you do with the spider? Here, spider. Thank you. Good good golem. I think I'm going to get more golems. Let's, let's be real here. They're great. We need more of those. We need more hard-working golems in our village that keep them safe so I don't have to worry so much about the safety of my uh, fellow citizens. I mean, I don't live here. Um, my colony? No, that also doesn't sound right. This is difficult. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, what to do. What was that sound? It was like a high-pitched scream. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode... Drop a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Also, we need a name for the golem. I mean, just name the golem. I'm not going to get a name tag for him, but I feel like I feel we need a name for him. Anyway, guys, bye-bye. Bow, 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 bow,